Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we'll be talking about JavaScript comments. So let's go over what comments are real quick and how do you use them. With JavaScript as well as most other languages if not all comments are ignored by the programming language that you use or, or that you are using. Um, in other words comments are for JavaScript comments are ignored by JavaScript the comment basically is for the person who's either creating the code or who's modifying the code alright so let me go ahead and open up this uh, sample code that we have here and as I said almost all or almost all if not all programming languages have uh, their own type of comment system or their own type of way of making comments. Uh, HTML is no different. So with HTML code, as we have this, uh, this code open here, I'll make it bigger, uh, this is how you would comment out in HTML, as I have it highlighted here. It's a less than sign and then explanation mark and then two small lines there and then at the end of the comment you got two small lines and a greater than sign and that's how you comment out in HTML okay now as we go down further in on uh, this is our JavaScript everything between the open script and the closed script is JavaScript and the way you come out comment out in JavaScript there's two there's two ways there's the single comment that's with the uh, two uh, forward slashes. That's how you comment out there. And then you can use a multiple comment. That means anything be between the uh, forward slash star and then the star backslash. That's a comment. All these, com all these um, anything, any type of comment here would be ignored by JavaScript or it also be ignored by the browser and like I say almost all languages if not all use some form of comments comments are really important especially if you've got a lot of lines of code that you created for your uh, program you're gonna wanna use comments because trust me three six seven weeks months years down the line you may forget what the code was that you yourself created and put on on your uh, in your um, in your program so it's really really important to go ahead and use comments which I call them sticky notes for lack of a better term uh, you leave a sticky note about something that you did or that you want to be reminded that you did and so that you can go ahead and follow up with it and know what you did all right Comments are very good for people who are collaborating, for more than one person that's collaborating on the same type of program or code, all right? So if you've got like anything past two people, anything past one person, and you are all working on the same code, and you put in your code, you update it, and then you, you pass it back up to your partner or your group, any changes that you made, you may want to use a comment. You know, and you could just put in here, this was a change that I made, yada, 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 this does this. You're going to want to put a comment in there so that everybody can follow along and know what you did. Trust me, it does not make that much of a difference now because, you know, this is, this is a small code. When you start going down and doing like, 20, 30, 50, 100 plus lines of code, you're going to want to use these comments because you're going to want to keep track of all the changes that you made or that someone else has made. Okay? Like I said, this is going to be really good for uh, multiple collaboration on, um, on the different types of uh, programming that you do. Um, so, keep that in mind about comments. You're really going to need to want to know how to use them, when to use them. It's going to be very good for 
uh, different collaboration, multiple collaboration, where you're using more than one or two people to work on the same code. So that's it. Um, thank you very much. I hope you uh, have a good day. Please like and subscribe, and you have a good day.